Ahoy mateys. So, um, yeah, today's a great day. It's uh, raining, but such as Oregon, what do you do? Well, a lady's working on that. Yeah, don't don't look at my mess, but that's a vintage camper, and uh, we're doing a restore on it. Stay tuned for that. Check this honey out. Just picked this up. It was in a neighboring town, and uh, yeah, what a time capsule. So this is a 65 sea swirl dinosaur of a boat, but uh, we're gonna fix it up and uh, see what we can do with it. Hasn't been tagged since 96, year of the flood. If you're an Oregonian, you know what that means. Windshield, you're not gonna believe this, but it's in perfect condition. And uh, got some cool features about it. It's 1965 kind of stuff, which is really neat. Trailer is uh, definitely an original tilt deck. Which is pretty neat um, got some uh, swing tubes on it transom eh, a little questionable might be all right probably have to put some stiffener in it um, the inside of this thing it's got the full top original top it's pretty well trashed but check that out Seats are actually a little bit messed up in a couple spots, but not bad. Twin stick. Everybody loves a twin stick. And uh, just playing with it. Right when I got back, I broke one of these steering cables. Um, kind of expected, though. It's pretty well trashed. I'm wearing gloves because I'm about to dig this out and uh, wash it. So the engine on this thing, you're not going to believe this. Look at this. Open her up. We've got this access door here for accessing the pull start. Pretty neat. But this thing is like a time capsule. You gotta see this. Let me get this off of here real quick. Look at that. Would you just look at that? It's in amazing condition. Legitimate time capsule. So, yeah, we're gonna see if it runs. I disconnected this shift linkage because the cable didn't want to move. But after messing with it for a little bit, I did get it to move. So just need to put that back in there. Whammy. So that's ready to go. We're not gonna work on starting it just yet. First things first. I don't like touching it because it's really gross and uh, lots of things need some lubrication obviously this thing is in dire need of some help but kind of cool so uh, yeah this is an original Oregon boat with an Oregon title manufactured in Canby Oregon which is kind of neat um, and I'm pretty sure I got it from the I mean the title is signed by the original owner so yeah, de somebody definitely loved this boat. Um, so we're going to clean it up and uh, see what we got after it's washed. I'm willing to bet this thing might polish out. But we'll see. Beautiful old machine. And, uh, you know, these boats are around everywhere. And and uh, a lot of people just let them rot. So we'll get this one fixed up and see how awesome it is when we're done. Well, she didn't clean up too bad. It's nice and shiny when it's wet, which means it should wax out. And uh, the, took the top down. The top is so brittle. 
I think what I'll do if I'm gonna sell this boat, I'll probably take the top off and then include it with the purchase so that somebody can take it to a top shop and have it uh, remade. Because the frame and everything is still good. It's just the, the fabric obviously is ancient and anytime you touch it, it cracks. So I don't think the top has been put away on this boat in probably 30 plus years or maybe 20, but a long time. So I still got quite a bit of cleanup to do. I'm probably gonna replace that piece of fabric. I really like that. Um, and I can, I can handle that. But as far as the top fabric goes, yeah, I'm not even gonna try. The seats are really cool. Um, the driver's side needs reattached. The whole base has come off. I see a bolt down at the bottom that's come out. I'll probably just re replace it. And uh, I guess, uh, yeah, there's still a lot of grunginess going on on the underneath the back. But as far as the majority of it, I got it pretty well cleaned up. I really like the boat. It's certainly cute. 14 foot. So look at that. Not very many numbers on there compared to a lot of newer boats. Newer boats have like 10 or 8 digits. So I'm honestly blown away at the condition of the windshield. There is not one crack, blemish, nothing. It's glass. A lot of these boats that I've ever seen, it's Lexan or plexiglass. That's an actual piece of glass on there, which is astonishing to me. And it's crystal clear. That right there makes it worth it. That is a beautiful piece of glass. Incredible. So in its heyday, this was a high dollar machine. So I'm gonna to try to get the lights working and I'm gonna get this sucker running. Probably not today because it's really nasty out today. And the water coming out of this thing, it's got that creamy color. So the paint, when I go to buff this, the, I'm gonna to have to do it by hand. The, uh, the paint is probably pretty fragile. But this little V-twin, 35 horse, We'll, uh, we'll get that running, fix the steering cables, and uh, and then probably take it on the river. Got my test tank filling up. Drain plug is in. It's dripping a little bit, but that's all right. I don't have this, and so I just did a barb to barb, a couple hose clamps took the hose the original hose off of here and I got that running over to uh, fuel tank a um, little word of advice these gray fuel hoses if it's got the liner inside throw it away and get yourself just black carburetor fuel hose so uh, I put fuel to it and I squeezed the ball and I had a leak the uh, gasket up on top of this glass bowl here at the fuel pump uh, was leaking so I pulled that turned that deal took this clip off took the bowl off re uh, centered the seal and put it all back together no leak anymore so uh, this will be the first first couple cranks in a long time since I, I'm assuming since 96 thing is about these old uh, motors some of them don't have anywhere to put a hose believe it or not water's got to enter underneath this cowling right here so I got to get the water pretty much overflowing my trash can in order to fire this up I mean I could dry start it um, that's kind of hard on things and if it does want to idle I'll want to let it idle because uh, it hasn't ran in so long and I don't want to let it idle and not have any water going to it because then it'll overheat so and it is a pull start, so get my workout ready. I threw the top in here. That's just a piece of wood. Um, I need to move it so I can stand here. Found this swim ladder underneath the transom back here. <clears throat> it's kind of neat, huh? All kinds of on-the-fly adjustments. So we'll uh, we'll give this thing a couple pulls and see what she does. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if it uh, has carburetor issues, considering that this thing hasn't been apart in probably 30 years. So, 
if it's ever been apart. I mean, who knows? So, waiting on the hose, and we'll uh, see if this old girl runs. Okay, so, some choke. Fun owning a boat. Man, things have come a long way. Exhausting. Definitely kicked over though. <sighs> Break time.
Well, there we have it. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one, but kind of wish I would have recorded it, but I just replaced the steering cable. Um, pretty straightforward. I mean, I just attached it to one end, ran it through there, ran it through there, threw a pulley here, threw the pulley there, and then wrapped it around the back of the steering wheel, and then back this way, same thing, and then pulled it real tight and reclamped it. Pretty straightforward, nothing complicated, but the steering cable was super rotten. This is a dog run cable, same size, same exact thing, but works beautiful. So we'll push the motor one way, watch the steering wheel, and then the other way. Works good. Through the top in here, not sure what to do about that, probably nothing. But uh, I'm afraid I don't really have a use for this boat. I mean, I've got my sled and uh and the beechcraft of course but uh yeah this one is super cool boat but i don't need it and it's kind of ugly but it was fun to work on so i'm gonna pass it on to the next guy and uh and they can play with it all right guys thanks for tuning in and uh make sure you hit that red button down there and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Stay tuned for our trailer build. Um, I've been putting together a bunch of photographs and probably gonna be like a voiceover when I do that one, but I just haven't had a whole lot of time. All right, thanks for watching. Later.